Hello and welcome to the Johnny Gets Cash channel where I buy, fix and sell cars for profit. I recently bought this 2003 Ford Focus gear for less than scrap value only to discover that it was a low mileage, high spec diamond in the rough. So join me today as I take the Focus for a test drive and find out if it performs as well as it should. <laughs> Right then, the first thing I need to do is change that battery because you'll probably remember in the last video, the Focus had a flat battery. So before I can test drive this thing and make sure everything is okay, I do need to change that battery. So that's the first thing I'm gonna be getting on with and then we'll go out for a drive. <laughs> So there's the new battery fitted. Obviously, excuse the state of the engine bay, etc. The car has not even had its first clean yet. So everything's still going to be pretty gross. But this new battery, easy to fit, obviously. Um, you remember in the last video I said the previous owner said they couldn't undo that clamp. Well, there's nothing wrong with it. It was just a little bit corroded. It did come out with a bit of brute force and ignorance. And it's gone back in fine, so clearly not damaged. Um, the bonus, however, this new battery, I got that for free. It was thrown in with the car when I bought it. The chap had bought that new, uh, but still couldn't get things sorted. So brand new battery for free, included with the 200 pound focus. You can't say fairer than that. So let's try and start this thing up now with the new battery on it. So you're joining me on the first test drive of this 200 pound Ford Focus. And I've got to say, first impressions are fantastic. I'm absolutely blown away. First of all, the gearbox. I was thinking, okay, maybe there's issues with the gearbox. And I haven't, because I've only been in first and reverse since you've seen me last time. But all five gears forward and reverse appear to be absolutely perfect. There's no crunching during engagement. There's no crunching during changes. The clutch, by the way, is absolutely fine. There's no slip that I can detect whatsoever. So I'm absolutely over the moon at this stage. The other thing I was gonna be listening for on this test drive, is noises from the suspension, knocks, bangs, whines, crunches, anything like that. And so far, there's not a bit of it. It is tight as a drum from what I can tell. The car drives so, so smoothly. There's no noise from the undercarriage, there's no noise from the transmission. The engine isn't reluctant or wheezy or anything like that. I'm really, really pleased with the whole experience so far. Now this is a 20 year old Ford Focus, remember, so it's never gonna be a new Rolls Royce. But honestly, I can't fault it. I was kind of thinking there'd be one or two things I could pick up on and make this video a little bit interesting and show you some things that I didn't know were wrong with the car. I found them and I'm now gonna fix them. But at this stage, I have to say, maybe I'm tempting fate, but there really is nothing that I can pick up on. Obviously, the car's absolutely filthy inside and out. I'm still driving it in its filthy state. But that's nothing to do with what this test drive is about. I really want to get to the bottom of the mechanicals of this car. I really want to get to know it a little bit better. So here we are in the 200 pound Ford Focus, and it is blowing my mind how good it is. So it's the thing, since I posted that last video, a lot of you guys have said, you know, I want to see more of that car, I want to see you do more on it, because as I mentioned in that video, I wouldn't normally bring something like this to the channel. It'd be a, a cheapy that I'd either scrap straight away or tidy up, get through MOT, do a service and sell. I wouldn't uh, bring it to the channel because I thought you guys maybe wouldn't be interested in something so low end as this. But the feedback's been really great, so thank you for that. So here's what I'm gonna do. Normally this would be a really quick turnaround for me, just get it MOT, get it serviced, get it tidy, get it gone. But what I'm gonna do is take a bit more time and I'm gonna bring you guys along for the process. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna to do to this very, very cheap, almost banger price. In fact, it is banger price, isn't it? It's less than scrap. So this banger price Ford Focus, what am I gonna to do to it? How am I gonna work with it? And what am I gonna end up with at the end? So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that process. I'm gonna show you what I do at each stage. And eventually, uh, when it's ready for sale, I'll show you, I'll show you what happens and, and how much I get for it. This car, honestly, as you guys know, I fall a little bit in love with every car that I deal with, and this car is, is no different. It, it just so deserves a second chance at life. It was more or less given up on, um, sold for cheaper than scrap, the guy wanted out, uh, and I, <laughs> I don't know if he thought it was really as an end of life vehicle. We've established now that it's done 88,000 miles. 
it's a 20 year old car, that's extremely low for the age. Yes, it looks an absolute sight at the moment, but I honestly think this is gonna come up really well. So I'm gonna do all I can to make this the best example it can be. I'm gonna bring you guys along, show you what I do, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy it. So this is the test drive. You see me fit that new battery as well. I should reiterate, that battery that I fitted was included in the 200 pound purchase price of this car. So a brand new battery included. So, so far, my spend is zero. But in actual fact, that's a lie. I've just been to the petrol station and I put 20 pounds worth of unleaded fuel in this thing. But that's it, that's my cost. 200 pounds with 20 pounds worth of fuel so far. <laughs> Honestly, I've got to say, if I was in a really tight situation in life and I, I couldn't afford the car that I necessarily wanted and I just needed something from A to B, I'd be pleased to drive this thing. It's so smooth. It's got even, and it's got automatic electric windows. It might highlight that you see so much. That's still got windy windows. This has got automatic electric windows. It's honestly, it's a really, really great car. I'm so pleased with it. So anyway, enough waffling. What I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to crack on with this focus. And I'm going to make it the best example it can be. I'm going to show you guys what I do, and I really hope you enjoy it. So. Um, as always, your comments are invited uh, throughout all these videos because without you guys telling me what you think of things and what you think I'm doing right or wrong, I don't know which direction to go to to keep you guys happy. So keep up the great comments and uh, I look forward to showing you more on this £200 banger price focus. Guys, I've got a little update. I've, uh, I've driven a bit further and you might hear a little bit of a hum in the background and I can't believe it. but. I just thought I'd test the air conditioning just for the sake of testing it. Uh, because yes, being a gear, it has got air conditioning equipped. And you won't believe it, but the air conditioning actually works in this car. I rarely pick up a car where the air con works. It's just unheard of. But here we are in this less than scrap price 20 year old Ford Focus and the air con is blowing ice cold. It just keeps giving this car. It just keeps giving and it really does deserve another shot at life. What a thing, eh? So you're joining me back at the yard now. I've just come back from that test drive that you saw me on. I am bowled over by this car, honestly. Um, I mentioned about the electric windows. All four windows on this Focus Gear are automatic electric, as in they drop automatically. All of them work, everything works on this. The air conditioning works, which I was very, very surprised about. It drives lovely, it stops lovely. No smoke, no noise, no rattles. I'm really, really starting to like this one. So, as I mentioned briefly on that test drive, the plan now is to make this thing the best version of itself. As you can see, it's not great. I'll show you a few of the uglier areas that I'm gonna be working on. And then next time you can join me as I do the clean up on this thing. So let's have a look at it. Obviously it's covered in a fine layer of I don't know what that is, if it's dust or dirt or road muck, I'm not really sure. It's gonna come off. If you look across the roof, you can see there's a hazing of kind of tree sap and things. Obviously the usual bird mess, standard. The wheels, at a bad, they don't look too bad. These are the gear alloy wheels, of course, but the fronts, look at those. They've never had a proper clean, have they? So it'd be interesting to see how well I can get those to come up. But side note, just take a note how little curbing there is. I know it's got massive tires, I know, I know that, but you'd expect after 20 years, there'd be some damage of some sort. But at the moment, it's just dirt, it's not damage. It's, it's really, really impressive, to be honest. You saw that last time, not really sure what that's all about. It looks like some sort of glue's been chucked down the car. That'll be getting sorted. In terms of actual bodywork, though, there isn't anything too major apart from this corner here. I touched on it briefly before. Obviously, we've got a plastic bumper, which looks like it's had some paint in the past, not all that well maybe uh, just a little bit of damage on this metal arch and a tiny tiny bit of rust starting to come through so that will have to get sorted inside is really interesting i think it's uh it's got plenty of rubbish in it i don't condone drink driving by the way so this is gonna have to get completely gutted and um what's more we'll have to get rid of all the mold in here because i know how much you guys love mold and i'll be uh, i'll be sorting that out but Bottom line, it's really not bad, and I'm actually really looking forward to getting stuck in. There's all these lovely sort of YouTube shots of all the moss or whatever that is. I'm afraid I'm not a botanist, I couldn't tell you what that is. Apart from it shouldn't be on a car, I know that much. So, anyway, thank you for watching this episode. Join me next time, and we're going to start the cleanup on this Focus, because as I said, I feel that it deserves another shot at life. Because it really is a little corker. Anyway, cheers guys, catch you later.